Welcome back to the channel guys, my name's Andy R and this is the Brotherhood of Men. You brothers, come on in, let's have a chat. What's today's subject? Well, I'm glad you asked. I did a video a while back called Who's the Daddy? And in that I gave you some statistics about the uh, men who'd gone for a paternity test and nearly 50% of them turned out they weren't the natural father. They weren't the sperm donor. It wasn't their DNA that they were taking care of. Now in that video, um, I think a little bit of clarity needs to be brought into it. For one, 100% of those guys that went for a paternity test had doubts that it was their baby. 100%. Otherwise, why go for a paternity test? Nearly 50% found out they weren't the baby's father or the child's father. It depended on how old they were. Which just goes to prove that they had a reason to be doubtful that they were to start with and that's why they sought out the DNA test. Now, from that, you can't extrapolate and say that 50% of all men out there have got children they're taking care of that aren't theirs. No, that would be nonsense. This is only those who went for a paternity test. And something else you need to know about those statistics is how low the amount of paternity tests were taken. In that study that I was talking about in that article, I think it was just over 5,000 was the uh, sample size. So 5,000 men, 2,500 of them turned out not to be, roughly, turned out not to be the father. That's kind of sad, but I can guarantee there are many, many tens, if not hundreds of thousands of other fathers out there in exactly the same position and are completely ignorant to that fact. Why would I say that? Am I saying that all women are not trustworthy and that everybody should have a DNA test? Well, that brings around an interesting subject, and that subject is, should paternity tests be done at birth? And I think they should. I think that an, a, just a paternity test is carried out as soon as that child's born, so that the father knows that he is the father. The mother knows she's the father. She, she's the mother, sorry. <laughs> The mother knows she's the father. The mother knows she's the mother. She gave birth. She doesn't need to um, to give a DNA sample, but it's a reassurance for the father. Whether he's in a relationship with the mother, whether he's married or whether he's engaged, whether they're just in a long-term relationship, whatever. And the thing that that paternity test done at birth for every child would do is it would stop a hell of a lot of cheating by women on men because they'd have no problem with giving a DNA sample of their baby and the father, checking it to see if paternity is true. Would they? Absolutely not. But how many men out there have been caught in that trap, have gone years, sometimes decades, before they found out that they're not actually the father? It takes me back to a story I read um, a few years ago now, and it's a guy who was a millionaire and he'd got two sons, grown sons. Well, I say grown, they were nearly legally classed as adults, though. I think one was 15 and one was 17. And they split up acrimoniously, which all marriages that split up are acrimonious. And guess what? It turned out those two kids were not his. But they had one father in common. So she'd been having an affair for years that he knew nothing about. Because guys, we're the most trusting. We trust our women. And that's the mistake we're making. So I think that it should be mandatory at birth that every child has a paternity test. My opinion. Tell me if you disagree with me. But as I said, that video, I think it needed a little bit of clarity. Maybe I didn't explain it so well in that video that 100% of those men, just over 5,000, the sample size, had enough doubts that they went and got a paternity test. And nearly 50% of them found out their doubts were justified. Anyway, tell me what you think. Do you think that DNA testing should be done 
at birth do you think paternity tests should be done so the father knows that he's the father also i think if it's done it would stop a lot of this haggling later on this hassle of um trying to prove you're not after you've been paying for a child that's not yours or you think it's not yours because it's not a cheap process but if it was done at birth it'd just be part of the birth costs wouldn't it anyway Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think I'm talking nonsense? Of course, these are only my opinions, but I think they're valid. So tell me in the comments down below. Of course, on your way up from the comments, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe, hit the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on future content. Wow, have I got some future content for you guys. Anyway, my name is Andy R. This is the Brotherhood of Men. And I'm going for a cup of tea because I think I've earned one. Bye now.